I want to encourage uh, women who date men to stop acting like you're in a committed relationship until you're actually in one. Okay? Do not commit to someone because in your brain you're committed, because in your fantasy you're committed, or because you think he's the one. You're not committed, and I promise you he is not acting like he is. <laughs> anyway, in my uh, col column of a column, what the hell, mail, or whatever we're calling it, uh, I want to cover this because as I say all the time, I cannot change men. I have given up trying. Uh, it is a waste of my time. They are terrible students. Uh, I'm not a teacher. I mean, I am a teacher, but they ain't paying me to teach them, so I will not be teaching them anymore unless they are following me uh, on social media um, and not causing saying a bunch of nonsense <laughs> which very few are able to do but those of you who do i appreciate you um, anyway what i am here to do is help any women or anyone who dates men cishet men particularly that's my wheelhouse um how to stop enabling their behavior um and focus on what you need instead of what they need, because I promise you, uh, the king baby is not concerned with you as much as you are concerned with him, uh, if at all. If you are not even in a committed relationship and you start off like this, and before you even start dating, you're like this, uh, that's, you, you are literally setting yourself up to be a married single mom. That's another conversation. Let's get into it. Now, I have actually been inspired by this Wendy person who, uh, said started dear wendy because uh, apparently there was a another column called dear wendy and she was like i'll just call mine that too and she has like thousands of people so i don't know i'm starting to think maybe i should just do it go for it make my own column but i also really like doing a column of a column um i'm just going to focus on what the person wrote in and not what she said because her answers are really long okay dear wendy Oh, before we move on uh follow my patreon that's where i do a lot of fun stuff lives uh, healing, dating, France, uh, whatever else, um, all kinds of stuff, personal stories, um, and that's how you can go to my lives, blah, 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 click the thing, it's in my, the bio and caption and all this. Anyway, dear Wendy, I met a great guy a few months ago, a few months ago, that's three months, okay, you don't know him at all, but okay, he's got a lot going for him in all aspects and is a wonderful man, you don't know that yet, uh, I mean, I'm not saying that he's not, but I'm just saying three months, um, and also depending on how much time you spent with him, that is not much. Unfortunately, here we go. Since he attends a great university and is a leader in several student organizations, he has limited free time, which he spends going to events with his frat, uh-oh. <laughs> I'm not saying all frat boys are like, uh, just <clears throat> whatever, this on some level, but, uh, <laughs> Uh, they're one step down from this podcast, bro. Uh, and actually some of them may end up having their own podcast, but, uh, usually they don't need to go that route because, uh, a lot of them, their dads are going to get them, um, jobs, uh, as lawmakers and they have way more power when they make laws instead of just, you know, talking. But okay, cool. He's a great guy and spends his free time hanging out with his frat brothers. Okay. Catching up on sleep and finishing his schoolwork. We don't talk on a daily basis, and we barely text. <laughs> uh, Y'all are not dating. You're not dating. I don't know what you think you're doing, but you ain't dating. The dude doesn't even talk to you on a daily basis. Not even, or he does, he barely texts. What is that? Hey. <laughs> Low effort in the beginning is going to be no effort, or like even worse if you actually end up with this dude. I hope you don't. I can tell out of the gate, she likes him too much and is doing too much. And those were always going to set you up to get exploited. <sighs> we, when we are together, which is once every two to three weeks. Oh. Let's see. Let's do the math here. They she met him a few months ago. That means three. Let's say I, I'm going to be, give her a, a, a lot of, I'm going to lean in towards the, the more delusional uh, part of her story. Let's say best case scenario, they hung out every two weeks, although it's less than that because she said maybe three. Um, oh my God, that is from drum club last night. Woo, crazy drum club session. Wow. Anyway, um, 
Let's do the math. So let's say they hung out every two weeks for three. They've hung out six times. You're not dating, which is also fine. I'm guessing you're in school. So why aren't you like hooking up with everybody? <laughs> like, sorry, uh, I didn't hook up. I hooked up with two people, I think, in all of college. Uh, because I was afraid they would derail my life and um, I would become obsessed and uh, that is actually what I happen what happened uh, the rare occasion that I hooked up I was like wow okay uh, clearly I um, cannot handle this so I tapped out and I should have been just like having all kinds of threesome stuff you know not should have thought I should have nobody should be doing anything in terms of that but but instead I focused on my studies my friendships uh, learning how to climb uh, and doing all kinds of fun stuff. So you know what? Uh, I'm glad I didn't do it. Anyway, so let's say at most you've hung out six times, but probably four. When we hang out, we have a fabulous time and we can talk for hours. Well, I would hope. <laughs> uh, I would hope you're talking for a while since you've only hung out enough times I can count on one hand. I have been pushing him to don't push. Don't do that. I don't even know what you're about to say. I've been pushing him to talk to me and see me more. Oh, God. Stop doing this. See, this right here, I'm, I'm saying as somebody who did this, as somebody who even at my, at the age of 40, was uh, tried to date a breadcrumber dude and that man ruined my confidence almost, not quite, Almost as much as an abusive relationship. Not, not even close, actually. But, like, holy crap, I have never, I have not felt that crazy other than when I was in a literally abusive relationship. Breadcrumbing. Just please, I just want, you know what it is? It's because he poked all those abandonment. Dad watches football all the time, doesn't want to even hang out with me. Uh, left the family to go marry someone else, like all those wounds. That dude, the breadcrumber, breadcrumb guy, gave me an opportunity to relive that whole cycle all over again. Luckily, I took the lesson. It was so painful. Anybody who's been in a breadcrumb situation, it is so painful because they won't just reject you. That would be easy to get over. They're just like reject, 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 and then bang, oh, he texted back. You will look at your phone like no less than a hundred times a day being like, you check me out? I can't believe I got anything done at all because the amount of times you look at your phone hoping they'll hang out, hoping they'll ask to see you again. So like I pushed to see this dude more even though he was uh, living with his brother, sleeping in a twin bed with a trundle Pokemon pillows, like, dude was not, I was 40. Do you know how silly I felt laying in his bed? One of the, one of the only of two times this man let me stay at his place because he was so boundaried around his time in his life. He knew everything about me, all my friends, went to cool parties, but I never knew his life. Uh, I'm lucky the dude wasn't married because that's how much he was, I, nothing, nothing. I never met any of his friends, not even his brother, who he lived with. It is so demoralizing to keep, and I didn't even think he was a wonderful guy. I knew that this dude was not good for me, but it was just, about, it's like, it is an addiction. It is an, it, it, I felt crazy, y'all. I'm pushing him to talk to me, see me more often, but he claims he has no time and he'll be more free in the future. And this is the problem right here. Stop believing men. They're too busy. They, some of them are too busy. Absolutely. Uh, but the fact that he he said he promises more time in the future lets her think there's hope for this. Uh, but I promise you, I, like literally he could send a text while on the toilet. I promise you this man is on his phone all the time. Do not believe them that they don't have time to send a text. The video games they're playing. I promise you he's texting and other girls. The ones that are harder to get. They would give him more validation. He's only texting her when he's like got nothing better to do or just to give a little bit of reassurance so she doesn't go anywhere because he likes to keep his options open, right? This is never an excuse to not stay in contact. I don't have time, I'm busy. I dated a dude. No, 
not, I don't even know what you call it, was not dating, definitely not dating, in contact, went on a few dates with a dude in LA, he was in his late 30s, me too, uh, super smart, super cool, so, like we had so much in common, right? The dude never reached out, never asked me on dates, I was doing all the work, <laughs> uh, and it was because he's so busy, so busy, too busy, too busy, da 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 and finally I was like, now he's just a baby dater, right? Y'all know if you've been here, um, I have, I'm a late bloomer and you know, long history of childhood. Okay. So I'm either like having ho hate forks, one night stands or like 12 years of celibacy, uh, not consecutively, but literally most of my adult life was not dating with, hooking up with, even holding hands with or kissing men. It was doing my own thing. And so when I finally started trying to date men at 36, first boyfriend tried to, me, uh, and then took another break and then tried to date and learned really quickly uh, that men will keep texting you just enough to keep you an option but are absolutely not interested in you. And if I'm honest with myself, I actually was doing that too, you know? When I think about all the dudes who texted me on Tinder or whatever, or whatever messaged me, uh, there was dudes that I would always get back to because and it wasn't even conscious. This is why I'm saying even men are not like, I'm going to screw her over and I'm just going to send a little bit here and a little bit there because it's not that like they know what they're doing most of the time, a lot of the time, but sometimes it's so in them um, that you just got to stop listening to what they say and watch their actions. Do they match what they're saying, right? This dude was like, you're so cool and all this stuff. And I think he thought that, but it just wasn't that connection on his end. He was always so busy. And so it was always somehow on me initiating these things. Uh, we never hooked up because again, I had learned at that point that it's not because of purity culture. It's literally like, I'm going to have brown chicken, brown cow with certain dudes where there's boundaries, like on vacation or the passing child, blah, blah, blah. but dudes I'm genuinely interested in, I'm not going to hook up with because I don't need to be, uh, I don't need any, uh, 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 oops, that's big. Ha! There's this one. I don't need anybody uh getting the kitty cat involved because she rules with an iron paw okay she will totally convince me to date the worst dudes if they're good at eating which happens that okay so this dude i at least had the clarity without the hormonal stuff and i eventually asked him i was like do you actually even like hanging out with me because you never um initiate anything i know you're busy you're own a company la 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 you seem honestly not at all interested. And he was like, I think you're so cool, but you're right. Uh, I, I forget how he worded it, but he was just like, you're right. My actions do not reflect someone who's genuinely interested in dating you seriously. I'm really sorry. I did not mean to lead you on, but I guess that's what I was doing. Uh, lesson learned. And I started to use that approach in my own dating life where I'm like, wait, why am I even... Why am I sending this dude a text every once in a while when I know I'm not interested in him? Because I don't know, maybe it's because I, maybe I started operating like a man too much or whatever. I don't know. Or maybe lots of women do this. Let me know. But there's guys that I'd just be like, ah, okay, maybe I'll hang out. Maybe I'll let, I'll give him a chance, see where it goes. Cause I also want to be open-minded. But the ones I was genuinely interested in, I always got back to them. Always, always, always. No matter how busy I was, I found the time. So any men who are just don't have time, to send you a text regularly, they, I promise you, they're not interested. Men make time for things that are important to them. Makes time for his frat boys, frat brothers, makes time for all these organizations, right? Uh, probably makes time for video games, all kinds of other stuff, to watching TikTok or YouTube or whatever, uh, but he doesn't have um, even a few minutes of his day to stay in touch with you minimum and even that's not enough uh, stop wasting your time you may think you're cool <laughs> so many men said i was really cool that is such an insult at this point i was like oh red flag they think i'm cool <laughs> bad i know i'm cool you know whatever or can be i'm also a dork and all kinds of other things right instead of being so focused on does he like me i need to see if he likes me well if he only hung out with me he likes me and hinging my value and my worth um on how much he likes me I started asking myself, do I really like this guy? Do you really like him? Or do you only like him because uh, if he does the things that you need, that will somehow break the cycle of something else, give you validation. We 
we know men um, will use us for all kinds of things, but don't think that we also don't use them for things. It just looks different and doesn't have the entire power structure backing it. And it does, when we use them, it's not uh, to, <laughs> right? Like, or like destroy their lives. Uh, so I'm just saying, every, every, everyone I know knows at least one woman who's dated a dude uh, who, you know, she didn't really like. Every person has probably done that at a certain point. Because none of us just know how to date, right? But we learn. But the problem with men is they get so much free labor from us and money and our bodies and all this free stuff, all these benefits to being with us and social capital, <laughs> um, that it is a benefit for them to date us if they don't like us. But it does not benefit us to date them if we don't like them or if they don't like us because this gets us or derails us, destroys our confidence and all those things. And it's already hard enough to feel good about yourself. You don't need some dude who won't text you back, making it even harder. When I told him he's probably not ready for a relationship, he responded that although he is extremely productive and doesn't have time for a relationship, he doesn't want to let me a good, op <laughs> a good opportunity being with me pass by and have another man steal me away from him. And now I can't stand you, dude. I can't stand you. Run, 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 as fast as you can. This dude wants his cake, then eat it too, right? He wants to know, he wants you to wait around. He wants you to not date anyone else. He, this is literally, this is, the, this is the exact same scenario except not married of the dude who like wants a family, social capital, a wife, free domestic labor, emotional labor, mental, blah, 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 and um, uh, unpaid, work hard, wants all of that and then also cheats. Acts like a single man out in the public life and gets the rewards of a home of all this, all, all this stuff. He keeps getting promoted. He has this all this time he would never have if he didn't have someone washing his dishes, cleaning his house, uh, and all those things. This is your future. This right here is that man. The cheater, the dude who has all second, third family, the dude who all of a sudden wants an open relationship or wants to be poly, but doesn't want you to be poly or have an open relationship. And then will convince you to do it, even though he knows you probably won't hook up. If they ever do that, y'all, go hook up. <laughs> you will see just how much, uh, how much more wanted you are than these dudes are. Anyway, so this is where the uh, king baby entitlement comes in. God! Even him saying a man steal you away. Is there a robbery happening? A man can't steal something. Uh, he could treat her well, woo her, be really good at eating this, all kinds of things, but he's not stealing anything because you don't own her. And this, like, this little language right here already makes me think that this is a king baby. And then he's gonna, let's see, in his past, his ex go, here we go gonna blame another woman for him being this way. I know it's not fair, but if this woman hadn't been so crazy and jealous and possessive, right? That's what we're gonna see. Hold on. I, uh, y'all, if anyone new here, I do not, I just go through this really quick to see, and then I, I'm reading it live, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna, this is what they always do, a girlfriend on him on a daily basis. In his past, he had the girl, oh, she was with him all the time. Oh, how dare her? A girlfriend want to see her boyfriend every day. Oh. Even while he was extremely busy. How dare her? And he felt his personal space was invaded. See, this is the, uh, the apero, as they say here, or the, uh, the entree, which is actually the appetizer, to the man cave. As if they need a cave in addition to taking up all the space in the entire house. Oh, I don't want to invade his personal space at this early at this early of a time by forcing him to hang out with me. Honey, you cannot force a man to do anything. <laughs> you can't. I know it's like what you think you can't, you can't. Uh, most men will never do anything they don't want to do or they're not going to benefit from doing. If they are the typical um, entitled king baby indoctrinated into patriarchy. But at the same time, we have known each other for three months and are exclusively seeing each other. No, you're not. 
Did you talk about this? I have a feeling you haven't actually talked about this. And even if you have, I would be willing to bet money this dude is not exclusive. That's not how they operate. If he was exclusive, he would make sure that you actually um, aren't seeing other dudes. So he would be touching, he, this is, so this is how it works most of the time. In the, in the heteronormative world, uh, um, when a man really likes you, he wants A, you to know he likes you, and B, to remind you, A, that he exists on a regular basis, just in case you forgot. And if he's really thoughtful, he wants to reassure you that he is thinking about you, cares about you. And also, if he's, you know, not too much, because then it's needy and it's crazy and it's love bomby. But he wants to, you know, in a, in a um, consistently not overkill and not breadcrumbing way, uh, consistently reach out to you because he's thinking about you. You're crossing his mind. Okay, that is, I promise this is not what's happening here. Okay, but sure, you're exclusive. So is his request for space and an indicator I need to move on? Yes. By straightforwardly admitting he doesn't want to miss his chance with me, even though he's extremely busy, hmm. Is he being selfish? Yes, always assume they are. Uh, I am lost and confused if I should really wait for this free time. You're never getting that free time. And you're not lost and confused. The reason why is you, you would not be writing into this if you were truly lost and confused. You just need, like so many of us, because we gaslight ourselves, you just need someone to be like, no, he's bad. That You need someone to hold a microphone to this thing that feels really off, okay? Because, you know, uh, this girl, ah, ha, 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 uh, she's probably like, just really wants a boyfriend. And then the little critic, Judge Judy, it's probably like, you're a loser if you don't have a boyfriend. All your friends have boyfriends. You are ugly and you're dead. Like all kinds of criticism. She's probably got, and this is like, she's trying to like protect you, whatever, but actually she's actually convincing you that you need commitment from this dude or you are blah, 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 blah. All like bad things, right? So you want Wendy to reassure you you're not bonkers for thinking this is a messed up arrangement. This is why it's really helpful to date in community. See it as a team sport, right? And don't ask your friends who have terrible relationships or women who center men and women who are like, well, maybe he, maybe he this, maybe he that. Those women are going to, uh, I mean, I'm telling you, one of the reasons why I stayed with that breadcrumber so long is I remember some women giving me the worst advice. I had just moved here. I didn't have any friends. So I, did, I missed some red flags around some of the women that I met when I first got here. And, and you know, I'm always like, literally like trying to mastermind something to get breadcrumb guy to take a photo with me literally being like hey texting them hey um will you suggest taking a photo with it la 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 and she's like sure and then like women are so good at this we can use our manipulation skills because we had we learned them especially uh under patriarchy as a survival mechanism we can use this to keep playing games and trying to trick men into liking us or we can use these f for 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 positive things right we are like little spies little detectives we, we should all work for the FBI, especially if they're in the U.S. and you are terrified of the men who come up in these dating apps because they're all holding bazookas, you know? And they're all like, that's their profile. If you've never said, if you've never been on a dating app in the U.S., I pro this is, they're literally like, I hate you. Swipe right on me. <laughs> it's crazy. They openly hate you in the photos. No drama, no drama, no drama. And then they're like, I understand why this lonely man. We're so lonely. It's a crisis. Uh, it's an entitlement crisis. It's a fix your crisis. We ain't fixing it crisis. So don't ask your friends who are going to make a million excuses for this dude. Oh, he just rolled over. Rotisserie chicken style. Work on friendships. And especially with uh, friends who will be real with you and tell you what you don't want to hear sometimes, but your intuition is dying for someone to hold a microphone to. Uh, I'm guessing maybe uh, her friends are giving her bad advice because I don't know why she's asking Wendy. Or maybe, whatever, maybe she's embarrassed. Lots of reasons. Listen, 
to, well, I'm not going to read Wendy's response, but uh, I'm pretty sure she's going to say like, no. Is this guy just wasting my time? Bingo, bingo. This is what men do best. They're time wasters. They waste more time than any, anyone I've ever seen. They waste their own time. Video game, video game, la la la, la la la, la 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 la. Uh, set list from Fish Show from 20 years ago. Uh, baseball statistics, fantasy football. Gear, 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 piton, blah, blah. Sorry, piton's not really gear. I'm throwing out climber terms. Uh, fishing, 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 blah, 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 blah. Whatever it is, they spend so much time doing all that and not texting you. They will be married, sitting next to their literal wife, who's reading a book, uh, Fair Play, or something trying to save her marriage, and he's on the phone, literally texting women that he's trying to meet online. Right next to her. They'll never meet you up with you. They won't even hook up with you. Do you know how many men I was trying to hook up with? I just wanted a little burn, 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 and the men were too lazy to actually come hook up. They wanted me to send a photo so they can work off. Uh, time wasters. What do I get from that exchange? I'm not only only fans. If you want me to do that, pay me. Right? Uh, anyway, time wasters. I, like literally, if you take nothing from my content and you date men. Track how much they waste your time. Like if you start seeing the numbers, how much time you spend, uh, you know, it's like texting them, waiting for texts, uh, finding out after four months of exchanging texts with someone that they're married the whole time, like wasting time. That's what they do more than anything. They are all on the hobo schedule spectrum and they may not take your money, but your time is value. It's valuable and they, your time is money because you could be studying for that law to pass the bar. You could be writing the next book. You could be or doing something that is not monetized because uh, for capitalism and everything having to be monetized, but your time is precious. It, you could be building community with friends. You could be spending time petting the dog, right? Uh, instead, you are just literally talking to someone you will never meet up with never get anything valuable from, not even validation at the end of the day, only maybe trauma. And when you start to look at it that way as a constant math equation of like risk, <laughs> risk versus payoff, you will stop messing with most of these men, I hope. And then she signs it non-space invader. No, 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 no. The best thing that women should be doing if you're dating men, date multiple men at once. Please, unless you have a, an engagement ring on your finger or you are somehow in some committed relationship, you should assume uh, that you are single. Even if he said, I love you. So many men will avoid that conversation and let you just assume you're exclusive. They either will flat out lie or they will just lie through omission, lie through being vague about things and they know that we will fully commit in our head when we first meet them. Like, I tell you, I didn't even want to get married, but I'm telling you, whenever I had little crushes, even during my journey of not dating men at all, even when I had just a little crush, I would literally like plan the next five years together with someone and be like, oh my God, we're gonna do this. And then after like three days, I was like, nah, he's not that great. And then I forget, right? Because I still really wasn't messing with men and wasn't really gonna do anything. But men know. <laughs> that we will literally like build a whole imaginary life. And I'm telling you, uh, please look up limerence if you get your heart broken all the time by men, because I think a lot of the times our hearts are not broken by men. They're broken by our delusion. They're broken by our fantasy. They're broken by men exploiting our fantasy, our hope, our benefit of the doubt, our, our need to resolve daddy issues because he wasn't there, right? Whatever it is, assume you are single, Keep dating other dudes. Stop putting so much, so all your eggs in one basket, right? Because he and he's got like a fifteen baskets. <laughs> he's not busy doing important stuff half the time. He's busy talking to like twelve other girls. <laughs> I'm sorry, I sound so cynical. But I learned all this through my own lived experiences or the experiences of my friends. Now, also everything I'm saying could be complete opposite day in another country. I am mostly talking about the US and in 
the, the demographics that I was dating. And then I moved to France and I was like, oh, okay, wow, uh, unlearn, unlearn, reset. Uh, I, I mean, I can go over, I wrote an article about it, a reported story for the Washington Post about dating in France versus the US. Let me know if you wanna hear that one. I wanna leave with some good advice from one of my moderators and subs and friends now. Uh, I adore her and actually she's gonna be on one of my upcoming live. Uh, just so y'all know, I am not an organized person. So some of y'all's amazing comments are lost in like the tens of thousands of screenshots on my phone because I do all my research on my phone so that I can then use that to record on here because this is the best camera I have. So uh, a lot of y'all have amazing comments in my phone. And I came across this one and I was like, oh my God, I gotta use this one here. So this is from uh, Leslie. Has been leaving amazing comments. This says an hour ago, but this was literally from like months and months and months and months, like maybe like almost a year ago. Has been leaving some of the best comments on my uh, on my YouTube for since I can remember. I don't. I'm, I'm assuming I was talking about dating in this. One. one of the easiest ways that I can tell whether a man is dateable or not is simply by matching their energy in the initial interactions. You probably wouldn't be surprised at how easy it is to shift sh shift through men who aren't actually interested or interesting. Oh, I love that. That is such a great extra addition to this um with this very simple strategy it's kind of like saying how you start is how you end mm -hmm. i think women could save themselves a lot of heartache if they would just refrain from being a try hard at the beginning of the relationship especially as a reaction to any sort of lack lack of effort on the man's part boom when the man when the dude is not making effort do please use some restraint please call your friend instead Please text your friend instead. Please do not reach out to them fishing for attention. It is not. It is literally, you are telling this dude, I'm needy. I'm desperate. Talk to me. Right? And somebody who is really confident and knows their worth is not going to be chasing after a dude. I promise you, if he's interested, he, he will pursue you because he doesn't want another man to steal you. So, and this is going to happen a lot every time. I mean, even, uh, even in healthy relationships, if, 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 if there was any kind of like pullback of attention, uh, I immediately was like, nope, don't text him, don't text him, don't text him, just wait. And also, if he is a thoughtful person, not trying to um, set you up for minimal effort like so many men do and they actually purposely do this you wouldn't believe how I mean they literally make videos on TikTok about all the ways they are purposely setting you up to expect nothing from them in the very beginning of uh, when me uh, Anthony and I were dating we had been talking for I don't know several like a few weeks or maybe a month or so I don't know I don't remember it doesn't matter and I just remember like one day or maybe it's a couple days in a row, I wasn't hearing as much from him during the middle of the day. Now I'm a writer, a freelancer. I um, I can make myself available uh, pretty much whenever, if I need to. Whereas like more people with more traditional jobs, they go to work and they're there and they clock in and they clock out and then they have free time after. Although sometimes people listen to this stuff at work and you tell me about it and I love that, especially if that place does not treat you well. I'm so glad you're listening to my stuff uh, while paying your bills. Anyway. It was like one day or maybe two max, he called me and was like, hey, I just wanted to let you know um, that I'm not texting as much, but it's because my boss uh, had a conversation with me because he's noticed I have been, you know, just looking at my phone more and sending texts and uh, I kind of got in trouble. So uh, that's why, that's why it's but like literally got ahead of it. So that I wasn't in like, oh God, he doesn't like me anymore. And then I start pulling back and being like, fork this dude, whatever. He's thoughtful enough to see, to know that he, that, uh, to see the impact of him just not texting as much for no reason whatsoever might be frustrating for me, right? That right there was a huge green flag. And I was like, oh, thoughtful. Oh, interested in me because he doesn't ever want me to think he's not interested. Men who do not like you or they wanna exploit you or they think they're the prize, they always want you to think maybe they're not interested. That is how they exploit us, y'all. 
is they 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 we they weaponize everything, but they weaponize uh, this fear of ours that uh oh maybe he doesn't like me anymore. And if they do that in the beginning, that's what they're going to do throughout. We just have to keep reminding ourselves that they are the privileged ones in this society that we live in, and so they need to be putting forth the maximum amount of effort into engaging with us. Et voila. Thank you, Leslie. Our live is gonna be so great. Uh, I'm gonna tell y'all more later about what the topics of discussion are gonna be. Um, all of my moderators are awesome. Leslie's one of them, but I, I people, y'all, people who like uh, subscribe to my channel, the ones who comment a lot, I learned so much about you and I'm so impressed by your very various backgrounds, lived experiences, wisdom, your stories. Uh, I love y'all. Y'all have like the most interesting lives. Uh, so I love it. I feel um, I feel honored that you share so much with me. Uh, since I have a little queen of TMI <laughs> over here. Anyway, thank you for listening. Follow my Patreon if you want to hear more personal stories. Uh, be able to vote on content. Uh, come to the lives. Uh, personal stories of healing, France stuff, random stuff, Mo stuff, all that is over on Patreon. Please follow me over there, especially because my views keep going down, 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 and I don't know why, and uh, I uh, appreciate any and all support I get over on Patreon. But thank you for being here. Comment, like, share, subscribe if you're not already, if you want to make sure you see my stuff. Set notifications to uh, any, all that stuff, all that stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Et voila!